Peggy 16. I'm uh, Ron McKenzie, Senior Designer on Body Count, and I've been dealing with the multiplayer co-op experience and the second-to-second design of the game. You're not going to be able to find shredding, uh, explosions, or just be able to throw a guy through a wall with a shotgun anywhere else apart from in Body Count. So as well as the, the single-player mode, Body Count also contains multiplayer and co-op modes. The versus modes are the Deathmatch Team Deathmatch, which deals with player versus player, It's a siege mode with you and a buddy taking on wave upon wave of enemies. It's fine when you start taking on the standard classes early on in the game, but once you've stayed in that area for a certain amount of time, there's no cover left. Changing back. Lots of different classes coming in, wave after wave of enemies. You're really going to have to rely on your friends to get you through to the next level. managed to maintain the level of shredding across both single player and multiplayer and co-op. Watching walls slowly get shredded apart and explosive take out whole sides of walls, it really makes you have to think about how you approach these levels and really forces team tactics. What we've done is we've allowed people to, when they've taken down an enemy, they can collect intel from that enemy. Using that intel, they can just fire off little perks which will help them turn the tide of battle. And this is really kind of, you get out of jail free card for the game. So if you find yourself getting the jump on a load of people, then uh, why not trigger explosive bullets and just let it fly on them? It's gonna send them flying. There's radar, which shows up AI in the environment for you. There's adrenaline, which gives you a short amount of invincibility. And then finally, there's the airstrike, which just destroys everything around you. My favorite level in body count so far is the China Fishing Slums. It's a gorgeously lit neon environment with a lot of fogging, a lot of opportunity to stealth around and get the jump on some people in there. There is uh, a stage set later in the game, in the second act of the game, that we refer to as the Old City Streets. It's a beautifully directed stage. It looks fantastic from a design perspective. I love it because it, the space fluctuates, you know, it's very tight quarters, kind of shantytown type combat, moving out to really wide range stuff. We say in the office that realism is just a springboard for body count. And when you look at the exaggerated physics and the huge explosions, really, we think that's the best way to be. It's more about taking cues from reality and then mucking about with the rules when we can. What we've achieved with Body Cam is bringing that huge, shreddable, 
violent, explosive experience directly into multiplayer.